Hi there. This is Monos of MonosBeats.com, and I got a tip to show y'all. Like, this is workflow pro tip number two. Because, check this out. I got a three screen setup, and I got a project here I'm working on for a customer. Let's go to this screen right here. You got a lot of uh, vocals you've been sent, and you listen to them. Like, uh, no, you keep. And then you say, like, okay, I just want to listen to this one. But then you gotta scroll up and turn on the beat, and then you gotta turn on this other automation if you wanna hear that. And then you go to next, and you get. You do this all the time. No more. No more, I tell you. Check this out. Check this. Go back here again. Click shift. Uh, I assume you're on a Windows computer. Shift. Did you see that? Turn everything you want, don't want to get touched on and just. Oh, you see that? Hmm. It's interesting, right? Yeah. So now they're locked. They're so low locked. So you can go through anything here and they're still it's genius like wow yo just check that shit out and also the cool thing you can also use it here uh like this so if you solo something uh, like this here is actually it, its own button but it's not here you can't there's nothing no info about this one here in um, the channel rag it actually is so the hidden tip is click shift uh, lock like backing vocals and stuff and then you can listen to the movie. Pro tip, man. <laughs> Pro tip. <laughs> Subscribe, like, whatever. Just, man. I used FL Studio since I was 14, and that was in 2004. And this came with. 12.4 i think fl 12.4 so it's not that old but it's still not new it's i didn't know this and i've been using the program for so long and finally now i've actually figured it out by an error i don't know actually i think i was marking something control and left click and it was too close to the edge so i hit the lights and i was holding shift for some reason and then suddenly Boom! Mind blown. Best feature ever.